What's up y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get the title The Diplomat, which also has a corresponding achievement, also called The Diplomat. Now what it requires is for you to get exalted with three different pretty obscure factions. First of which we're going to look at here is Timbermaw Hold, second is going to be Sporgar, and third is going to be the Kernii. Now all these reputations start off with something that's like kind of a little bit unusual for a lot of people, is they start off at unfriendly. And so that's actually below neutral. So you can't interact with a lot of these different mobs uh, that are in the faction unless it's a certain quest or a certain thing. And so here I am at Fellwood, and this is the only mob that you can interact with in the uh, with the, the Timber Mall Hold. And you go ahead and you talk to this guy, and uh, you go ahead and pick up two quests. And if you do these two quests, and also you kill the mobs here, you're going to get up to... Uh, was it neutral? Sorry, neutral. And uh, then you're going to be able to go through there and also interact with the other um, the other Timber Mall Hold faction members, and also get a couple other quests. But we're going to get most of your uh, most of your reputation here is you're going to be turning in two different things. You can either turn in Winterfall headdress feathers, or sorry, uh, Winterfall spirit beads, or Deadwood headdress feathers. And each of those turn in five of them give you two thousand reputation. So in order to get from neutral to exalted, you need about forty five thousand reputation, and I mean, like 2,000 at a time is not going to take that much at all, especially when it's only five that you need to get. The drop rate on them is about 40% uh, for the Winterfall Spirit Beads. I think that the Deadwood Headdress Feathers are a little bit lower, and so that's why I'm going to recommend farming the uh, the Spirit Beads instead. But if you want to go ahead and mix it up, or there are people who are already farming the Spirit Beads, there's one that I just got right there. And so again, you turn in five of those. I'm going to show you guys where to turn them in also. And uh, if you get the Deadwood Headdress Feathers, you turn those into the guy who I just talked to to pick up these two quests. And so it's very easy to do this reputation. Actually, to be honest with you guys, like it's easy to do all three of them. It's not even a big deal. And I was actually looking online, and I didn't see any guides for this, which kind of surprised me. But, uh, you know, I, I, this is something that I've actually done before, and I actually did a lot of this stuff in Vanilla and also in Burning Crusade whenever it was current. And so I have a pretty vivid uh, memory of doing all of these things, and so... Uh, it's actually kind of cool to go back and do them all again. And so I picked up all the quests and uh, finished all the stuff. And I'm going to go up back up here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn all this stuff in. And this will put me up at neutral, which again will allow me to interact with the other faction members. But, I mean, also, like, one thing is that you kill, like, one of these one of these bears. I don't even know. I guess they're bears. Bear people. Um, for the, uh, that, 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 that aren't Timber Mall Hold. You get, like, 20 rep. And so, I mean, th I mean, just do the math. Like, if you've ever done, like, the uh, Council of Exarchs or any of the other wars of Draenor reputations, this is faster than those are, okay? And so this is not even a big deal. Honestly, I would say uh, if you want to complete like all the achievement, like all three reputations, I would say like if you just want to neck beard it up and just sit there and just play for an entire day, you can do it in an entire day, no problem. And I'm talking like maybe seven hours tops to do all three of them. Uh, Sporgar is really easy to do because you're able to buy reputation items and they have almost no value on the auction house because they're so common. And so it's going to be very easy for you to get Sporgar reputation. This one takes kind of, uh, you know, a little bit of time, I'd say like two or three hours to get from neutral to exalted if you're very efficient. Like, like I am, I'm very, I try to be very, very efficient. And here I am right here. And this is where you pick up the next quest and uh, you can turn these in. And this is outside the Furbolg uh, entrance of like the Timbermaw Hold, uh, I guess like a tunnel. And you can pick up another quest, and you're going to have to turn in some spirit beads. You have to do a quest to do 10 of them, and it's only going to give you 1,400 rep. Kind of sucks, but after that, you're going to be able to do turn in 5, and you're going to get 10, uh, sorry, uh, 2,000 rep each turn in. And so anyway, uh, you're going to be able to get, I'd say, Exalted with Timber Mall Hold in 2 to 3 hours if you're very efficient. Obviously, I mean, it can take up upwards of, of 5 or, or 8 hours if you have no idea what you're doing, right? Uh, with the Kernia, Kernia is a little bit annoying, and the reason for that is that the main reputation turn in is only 500 and it requires you to get uh, 10 items that have roughly the same drop rate as the uh, as these little what are, what are they the spirit beats and so there I am I'm turning in 10 and uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of reputation and then I can talk to this guy again and then I pick up the quest for more rep beat. Uh, I don't really pick up the quest but I can turn them in at him and so anyway I'm gonna take you guys over to uh, this is right about the same place where the uh, the Alliance camp is and you can see that over to the uh, to the left there and it's over at Winterfall Village and this is where you're gonna spend a lot of your time farming different items for uh, for the Timber Mall Hold. Now each of these guys as I said before is gonna give you 10 20 reputation and there's also a rare spawn that's gonna give you a hundred but all that stuff is small fries, and what you're really looking to get is the spirit beads. And just because they get so much reputation, this uh, this was actually buffed. Like this used to take 
hours to do and you just do a lap around as you can see on my uh, on my screen and there are other uh, there are other full bar fur bulks around the area it's not like if you don't kill these you're not gonna be able to kill any other ones and one problem with this area is that of course if like one person's farming here because you can one shot all of the mobs there's the uh, there's the elite or sorry the rare spawn he's not not a big deal to deal with and uh, he just gave me a hundred rep so that's pretty easy you guys can see my rep bar of course and um, I put that up for you guys don't even bother killing this guy I don't even think he gives you any rep at all and uh, there used to be a guy up here high chief winterfall and he used to give a good amount of reputation also but I think that they got rid of him I guess they must have because he's not there that's where he used to be and this is probably the highest concentration of the different uh, fur bulks and so you, if you do a lap around here, and also there's like three of them together, which makes AoE looting them very easy. And right outside the village, there are these two guys, and you can go ahead and pick up quests for them. And so you can kind of save some, uh, I guess, like multitask and save some time and get those done as well. Now, there are some other quests in Winter Spring that give you reputation with Furbogs as well as Fellwood. But I'm not really going to go over those because I don't really think that they're as important and they're not time efficient. Now I'm going to go back to this guy and I'll just show you guys to turn in. And so I go to more beads for whatever his name is and I turn it in and that's, that, that was a really, really big bar increase. And so, I mean, you really don't have to do that too many times, right? And so just turn in five and you're going to get this done. No problem whatsoever. Now the next one we're going to look at is the Sporgar. Now I already did part of this on my uh, Druid. And so this is the guy that you need to talk to right here in order to start the quest because again these uh these um the sporgar uh, start off as unfriendly so you can't interact with the faction npcs at sporgar one way to get around this is that you can actually run underbog which is the probably the best uh the best instance for getting sporgar rep and i'll show that in a couple of minutes and uh, if you don't you just go ahead and do these quests and they're going to take you through this little area here i think you're gonna have to kill some bog lords and also um what was the other one that you need to do I think you need to kill like these like uh, these like sacks. You have to like have the bog lord baby sacks. You have to kill those two. I don't know. It's been a while since I've welded something to Outland, but uh, it's just a couple of quests, and then they're gonna send you over to Sporgar. <clears throat> Sorry, and you're gonna be about where I am here. Now Sporgar has some other quests, and there are two different uh, BOE items that you're able to turn in. The first one here is going to be Fertile Spores, and first of all, Fertile Spores, uh, from what I read, I don't think I even really did a turn in of these, but I think they're going to give you 75 reputation. The one that I would recommend turning in instead is called Sanguine Hibiscus, and I'm going to show you guys that. This is also a quest where you can do, and you just go ahead and you kill these, uh, these like 12 guys, and uh, after you kill them, you can actually do this quest over and over, and uh, it's a huge waste of time and don't ever do it. Uh, it just takes longer than it's worth and you have to kill 18 total mobs and they're kind of spread out and it's just much more efficient to just farm underbog instead now here i am at underbog and it's underbog is located inside the uh, coil thing reservoir you just go underwater and you swim inside of it and it's over to the uh to the right because in the middle is what is it it's of course serpentine caverns over to the i guess like a little bit to the left well, I'll talk to that. It doesn't even matter. It's over to the right, okay? And so you talk to this guy right here inside the Underbog, and you just turn in these Sanguine Hibiscuses. And I bought each one of these, like I bought some for the video, and it was like 250 gold or something like that for pretty much all of them that I got. And I got like, I was like 63 of them. Actually, I think it was about around like three or 400. And so you can pretty much buy your reputation with this thing. And so with all these turn-ins and also with doing just a run through Underbog, uh, you can pretty much get this done, no problem. And um, I would say again, this would probably take like maybe a couple, maybe a couple hours if you don't have all the uh, the things that you can buy off the auction house. Now the fertile spores are much rarer, and the reason that they're rarer is they don't drop from instance mobs; they only drop from a couple of mobs in Zengar Marsh. And so it's not really a good uh, way to spend your time is farming, you know, like level 62 mobs. Just either wait for the items to pop up on the auction house or go do Underbog yourself. And also you're getting a good amount of reputation just by killing these mobs. I know you guys can't see my chat bar, but it has 20, I'm getting 21 reputation per kill. And for bosses, I'm getting even more. So I'm going to go ahead and cut and I'm going to show you guys what I actually ended up with after a full run of Underbog. And as you can see here, I still have two bosses left and I've got all this stuff rounded up. And I'll show you guys just one like AoE pull. I'm going to get something like a thousand rep just from one AoE pull. And Sanguine Hibiscus are all over the place, by the way. They're like little red uh, glowing things. And also you can loot them from the mobs. Look at my, look at my rep bar go up. No big deal, right? No big deal. And so you're going to be able to get this with without any real trouble whatsoever. And anybody who's like probably level 80 or higher is going to be able to do this uh, pretty much just as easily as I am right now at level 100. And so this is where I am. And uh, also... 
we will get the Kearney eye at the uh, you know for the last part, and I, I'm not even gonna I don't think they even have the, the clip of killing the last boss in here, but this is level 62 instance, so rest assured that he died. And uh, the next one we're gonna look at here is the Kearney eye. Now the Kearney eye, again, this is where you get the Tau book mounts from, and so if you're looking to uh, increase your mount count, uh, this is a good place to start. There is where I am right now, and where I'm putting my finger on the mouse here, I guess like the cursor, is these are different places where you can farm uh, reputation. Now you get reputation from three different ways from the Kearney Eye. Uh, you can go ahead and you can do quests and tell you are, and you can get reputation that way. And this is an outland in the Grand, by the way. And you can also get reputation by killing these individual ogres, and they're going to give you 10 reputation each for killing them. But the main way you're going to get reputation is whenever you kill them, you're going to get these war beads. Now the war beads, what they do, you turn in 10 war beads, you get 500 reputation. And so, uh, as I said, like probably somewhere around, like you got a lot of quests here. There are a lot of quests you can do, and honestly, it's probably worth your while to do the quest, especially the Corky quest line that starts, uh, was it, I think it's in the last spot that I showed on the map, is over to the, um, sorry, over to the right of, of Tyriar. And so this is the main spot. I remember back in the day, man, like I was like 16, 17, and I sat in this spot for one day, one Saturday afternoon, and I went from like, like friendly to exalted in one day and i killed ogres that was like that was my life for that one day that was my life and there are some people like one thing that kind of sucks about this is that there are obviously people who are kind of farming around here and so uh sometimes it's low levels sometimes it's high levels usually i don't really kill any of the low level players whenever i'm doing stuff like this uh because if they're going to bring their mains in here like this druid's a piece of garbage like there's no way he's going to be able to kill anybody who's level 100 and so it's just going to be trouble for me, and if nothing else, it's going to waste my time. And so it's just more uh, more time efficient to just go ahead and kill the normal mobs and uh, not even really worry about the other guys who are trying to go in here and do this stuff. Now, besides this, uh, you don't really have a lot of options on how you can get the reputation, and uh, that's why I would recommend going ahead and doing the quests, because you could also get your War Master of Nagrand out of the way also if you are into doing those kinds of things. But if you're just going for the reputation, I would say that the quests are still a pretty good way of getting rep. I think that you can get pretty pretty close to like honored with doing just like every single quest in here and maybe even pretty pretty far into honored just because you're gonna have to kill some of these ogres to begin with, like just because the quests require it. And so you'll get the war beads just by doing the quest and so you can be killing two birds with one stone. Here I am in Tyriar. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys pretty much where to go. And see, there's where they are. And uh, this is this is where you turn in the war beats. And you turn them into this guy right here. I don't even know his name. But something, a guy. And each turn in is going to give you 500 rep. And um, it kind of takes a little bit of time, but not really too long. And you can also, as I said before, do the quests. And the mobs themselves give you some kill credit to begin with, or uh, reputation credit to begin with. So guys, that's really all it takes to get the Diplomat title and the Diplomat achievement. And so if you're looking to get this done, you know, just set aside an afternoon and you'll probably have it done without any much really, really too much trouble at all, I would say. Well, I would hope not because they're level like 60 mobs. <laughs> Either way, thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe.